gentleman deck now from the adulation of George Cruz's trainer. Meanwhile, sitting on the stool, almost helpless, is Mark Freeland, who won the title with a seven-round knockout in Atlantic City over Harold Albrecht in February. with the original magic man all right paulie and antonio they ain't got nothing on this guy marlon starling hey marlon all right well first off tell us what are you doing now right now i drive for a limo for a limousine company in connecticut uh, i mean uh you still you still follow boxing you still have anything to do with that well uh, i'll follow but not as close you know boxing isn't um the way it used to be really you know we we um have a lot of other crazy sports like the, the cage fighting which I don't follow also. Um, boxing, something big come up, you know, I'll, I'll get, it'll get my attention. Uh-huh. Right, but otherwise, not, not on a daily basis like you. I couldn't tell you who's, who's the champion in no weight class, really. Your past, that's what made you, right? Talk a little about your toughest opponents. Oh, uh, boy, me. My, I think I was my, being, trying to just get ready for Indian, any individual guy is, was tough. My, my toughest, my toughest fight was in the ring. Well, my toughest fight was in the gym, should I say. When, when someone says something about you, your, your toughest opponent, believe me, uh, uh, none of them, uh, I can say all of them was tough, and then none of them was all that tough. Mm -hmm. The idea was just conditioning, just me getting, them, getting myself in the best physical condition I could possibly get. It was you against yourself, right? But, uh, that was main, that's, that was so, you know, the infamous punch after the bell with Molinaris? Um, you know, we all want want uh, perfection, and um, that day was perfection. That was one of my. When it comes to me watching a a, a tape of Marlon Sterling, that's one I'll put up eight, seven days a week because um, I was sharp in that fight. That was one of my best fights. Um, people say that's one of your best fights. You lost by a knockout. I got hit after the bell. I mean, I was sharp. I, that was one of my best fights. That was one of my best fights. But, you know, a lot of people saying the um, Lloyd Huntington was also a good fight. That was also a good fight too. But it wasn't. It wasn't. I wasn't as sharp as I was with Marlon Irish. Some anecdotes about him. I know I talked to Tell Torrance and Freddie Roach, and they told me he didn't like white shoes. I don't know if that's true. Well, I think um, I, I didn't spend enough time to with Eddie to, to really uh, gather all his, his um, should I say, knowledge or rules or whatever. Um, I spent time with Freddie Welch. Freddie Welch was, you know, he, me and him was on the, same, on the same level of everything. He wanted to win as bad as I did. So that's why me and, Fre me and Freddie got along because he wanted to win a particular fight just as bad as Marlon Stalin wanted to win it too. Uh, particular. My team, we, we had one team, one fighter. That fighter happened to be Marlon Stalin. But I felt when I fought a particular opponent, we all fought him. You don't know anything about the white shoes though, right? I, Tell told me he didn't like, he, like he didn't like any extravagance or anything like that, you know? Well, he don't like, no, he didn't like, Eddie was the boss. Eddie liked being the boss. Um, one day I came in the gym and uh, this particular day I didn't I didn't want to spar with somebody. And he said, "Okay, you do what you want to do. You your trainer. You the trainer. You do." <laughs> right then, they let me see that um, I don't care how much you paying a trainer, they're the boss. And um, my 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 best experience too was with Freddie Roach. Me and Freddie Roach was uh, when, when when Freddie Roach was my trainer, we all was one. We were one. Marlon Stalin was fighting fighting the opponent, but Freddie Roach was throwing the right. My other my other trainer was throwing the left. Marlon Stalin was using the, the mind. So, you know, we all fought 
a particular fighter. When I fought, when I fought um, Lloyd Hunnigan, I didn't just fight him. My team fought him. Well, I mean, honestly, I think that Freddie, for a long time, I thought Freddie Roach is the best trainer in boxing. That was my personal opinion, you know. I don't know if you would agree with that. He just seems awesome, you know. Well, you know, Freddie Roach is a good trainer. Marlon Sons is a good trainer. Because, you know, when, 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 they, when they look at it, um, and Eddie and Freddie and anybody else that was affiliated with Marlon Sons, Marlon Stalin was really Marlon Sons' trainer. And, you know, that sounds cocky. But they know that's the truth. Well, nobody knows a fighter better than themselves, right? You know, Freddie, Freddie Woods would tell you that. Uh, Eddie Fudge, you know, God rest his soul, he would tell you that. You know who Marlon Stalin's trainer was, really? Marlon Stalin. Do you think Antonio Tarver is worthy of the name Magic Man or no? There's only one Magic Man when it comes to boxing. I mean, people say, uh, people say, uh, Miles Stalin's one of the best defensive fighters to ever string him up, right? Uh, not a big puncher. Uh, you know, more than half of my fights was won by knockouts. They didn't get knocked out defensively, so it must have been magic. <laughs> it must have been magic. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, if you look at my, my, my record, most of my, half of my fights was won by knockouts. They didn't get knocked out. They didn't get knocked out defensively. No, they didn't slip on the canvas, right, man? No, no. no. So hey, yeah, I, I think there's only one magic man when it comes to boxing, and and that was Marlon. Right, man. Thanks for your time, Marlon. Unbelievable, Marlon. Did you, in your heart of hearts, believe that you could come up with that kind of result? I know that I was going to get him in the late house. I believe I was behind on all all kinds. But you know what? I was drinking low. I was talking to him. He was breathing from probably the sixth round on. The, the man has. His jab is a little more potent than I thought it was. But you like once again, Miles Dallas was one of the best fighters out there. The, the best undefeated fighter. And you know what? I'm the champ of the whole wide world.